Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do another alcohol ink tutorial. The last one I did was quite popular so I thought I would show you a different technique today. My equipment is messy because I have been painting already. But anyway, this is what you need for today's tutorial. You need some yippo paper. You're also going to need some alcohol inks. I've got quite a lot from Tim Holtz. Um, Adirondack inks but you can use any alcohol inks they should all work. I've also got some Liquitex acrylic inks in quite a few different colours. Some white, violet, blues and then I've got some copper colours and gold and silver as well. So you're also going to need some alcohol blending solution or some isopropyl alcohol. They're basically the same thing. I top this up with this uh, once it's finished because it's a bit of a smaller bottle to use it from. Then you're going to want to have a paintbrush and some maybe a smaller one as well and a straw. So I'm going to start by putting some gloves on to protect my hands and also obviously you're going to want to cover your desk um, you don't want the alcohol inks getting on the bottom of this so I did some earlier so luckily it's not going to go through there okay I'm going to start by putting some colours in these plastic cups these are the colours that I want sort of muted in the background so I'll probably grab three and what I'm going to do is pour some of the alcohol blending solution in them probably just around, I mean it's a small piece of paper here so probably only about um, maybe three squirts in each one um, this one. okay then I'm going to add my colours to it so I'm, I've got this one is wild plum so I'm going to put um, two Three, five. Five in that one. This one is Patina. I'm gonna put five in that one. And then the other one I am going to put uh, what colour is this? Pink sherbet. One, two, three, four, one five in that one too. Actually this one's quite a pale one so I might just add a couple more. Okay so I'm going to start with the brighter colours um, and just put a little bit in the middle and a little bit of the blue, a little bit more of the pink, maybe some more blue over here. And I'm just going to use my a paintbrush to just bring the sides out a bit. The pink is quite a strong colour, so I don't really need too much of the pink. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to put a little bit of the lighter pink on. Again, you don't need much because they're quite strong colours. Maybe a little bit down here. Okay, so once I'm happy with the background bit, I'm going to go in with the the actual alcohol inks um, and use them from their direct concentrate. So I'm just going to put a couple of just give it a little bit of a glow. 
and I'm going to do some dabs in the corner over here. And if you just give it like a little bit of a blow it will start to blend out a bit. And then I'm going to use some of the blue from Concentrate. Thing is, we don't want like too much build up on the colour, otherwise it will start to look um, not quite murky. Actually, I might put a little bit of stream in here. Quite like this blue colour. And I might help it along with some. So now I've got my background. So I'm just going to put some of this purple. And I'm going to use a straw um, to kind of drag it along the page here. Okay, and then next I think I'm going to use some more of the pink. Next I think I'm going to do some blue in this corner over here. And I'm going to put some white with it. And again I'm going to use my straw. Kind of So I've got some gold leaf here. And I'm just going to dip my paintbrush into it. And just put some bits of gold where I want it to. So I'm just actually going to, I don't like this pink bit in the middle, so I'm just going to add a drop of blue and see what that looks like. And then maybe I will add a little bit of white to the top of it. Just going to mop up a bit of this dark pink here that I don't like so much. There we go. 
what you can do also is use a paintbrush and dip it into some isopropyl and you can actually create some really cool techniques by doing some little dots around the, around the side I think it looks quite nice sometimes just creates this little extra bit of sort of makes it more interesting Thanks for watching my video today. Again, this is just trial and error. I'm not completely happy with it, but I like to try new things and see how it works on the page. So let me know if this is something you liked, if it's something you're gonna try, whether you'd like to see me try it again. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like these videos and see you all soon. Bye.